TV laser module is an nice add-on to make your 3D printer to laser engraver. It's an easy way to do some engraving, but if you like to do much more, you should consider to buy laser engraving machine. So, let's see how to use it with Creality Ender 3 S1 Pro. Before I use laser module, I need to update the firmware. First, I will update the display firmware. For this, you need to open up the display. Inside the case is a card reader. You need to upload new firmware files to micro SD card. Update will install after you have plugged in the card, connected the cable and switched on the printer. Also, you need to update the printer firmware too. More info on Creality website. Laser module installing is very easy and it takes even less time than updating firmware. Laser uses same power source as LED light, so you can't use light when laser connected. Don't have 3D printer, but you need something to 3D print. Just go type in PCBWay.com and start ordering your stuff. There are many different types of 3D printing you can choose from. Different materials. PCBWay also makes custom PCBs. They provide CNC milling service, sheet metal fabrication and injection molding. This is very easy. Upload your file. Select units. Material. Color. You can choose different surface finish. If you like prototyping and making cool staff, this is good place to order your custom parts. The software is Creality Print, which you can download from Creality website, link in the description. Choose laser from the upper right corner. You can add image, text and shapes. I choose the image. You can change between four processing modes. For simple engraving, I use black mode. More options you can choose. Working parameters are the settings which you will mostly change. There are three things which you can change. Run count is for changing how many times laser will run over the same path. For engraving is mostly used on power rate is how much power is laser using and working speed is laser moving speed. Generate G code and save it to the memory card. When you turn on the printer after firmware update, you see option to choose between FDM and laser. But after you can find this option from settings, Next thing is to focus the laser. It's very easy. Place your thing you want to engrave on the bed and fix it with the magnets. Your piece of plywood should be flat, not bent like mine. It can affect your engrave quality and laser module can hit. Lower the focusing power and start lowering the C. Lower the C until it touches the plywood. You need to do it every time if you change an engraveable object. If the object is with the same thickness, you don't need to do it again. Laser beam can harm your eyes, so use safety goggles. Next step is to choose your file, but you need to home your printer before. But if you don't, this will happen. Next step is to align the engraveable object and laser. For that is function run range. Laser beam will show engraved size. Don't forget to flip up the focusing bar. Direct the engrave to start the engraving. Laser should be used in well ventilated room. If you want to have darker engraving, you can lower the speed and laser will cut deeper. If you want lighter, add more speed. You can also use less power if you want lighter image. I usually change only speed. It's more easier to change one setting and you get the same effect. Both are 100% power but speed different. First 2000 mm per minute and second one 3000 per minute. Paper and cardboard engraving need less power or more speed. This one has wrong settings and burn through. 
added more speed and only the edge cut through, but it's also fixable. 80% power and 2000 mm per minute speed. With this laser you can also cut some things. First, color guard paper, vector mode, power 100% and speed 1000 mm per minute. Resize by dragging corners and you can move it also. The outside edge is much darker. To fix this, you need to change corner speed. I started to rise the corner speed and got better results every try. I also dried paper again and I got much better results than before. The last 5 text was in great with the same speed and power but corner speed different. The upper one is much better, only bottom part of uh, letter Y is darker. Now lower speed and the engraved quality will be good. If you have image loading or mode changing problems it can be caused by file type. I have problems with PNG files, but when I use JPEG or DXF files, I had no problems. You can change PNG to JPEG and it will work also. All surface is burned, problem was caused by PNG file. Thanks for watching.